And so here is what Hoke had to say about this very issue. Uh, he says that the player was evaluated by our experienced athletic trainers and team physicians and we're, co and we're confident proper medical decisions were made. The University of Michigan has a distinguished group of certified athletic trainers and team physicians who are responsible for determining whether or not a player is physically able to play. Our coaches have no influence or authority to make determinations if or when an injured player returns to competition. It sounds convincing. Is it convincing to a trained ear like yours? No. As a player advocate, your client's long-term health and well-being is your primary concern, beyond the dollars and cents, and it should be the primary concern for his head coach as well. Well, of course, you know, these are people on a college team, so they're not getting paid directly. Uh, so may maybe some people would make uh, the argument that money isn't involved. Is that true? That's true, and he had said that Drew Morris wanted to stay in, to, stay in the game. He wanted to remain in the game as right. a competitor. The decision should not be up to the player. It should be up to the head coach. Now, I was at the UConn-Buffalo game last year. I saw a player for the UConn defense come off the field, visibly had his bell rung. Team's medical personnel examined him, determined that he should not go back into the game. Someone took his helmet to prevent him from going back into the game. So they forced him to stay on exactly. the sidelines. Exactly. Someone should have taken Drew Morris's helmet on Saturday. Uh, I think just another layer of of disbelief for me on this whole thing. This team was losing in a big way when all of this happened. It's not like you were, you know, in the throes of almost beating. Right. Uh, no, they were way behind. It was like 37 or something. It was like 30 that. to 7 with 11 minutes in the game. There was no reason for Brady Hoke to risk long-term injury to this player when the game was so far out of reach. What would you tell this player if they were your client? I would tell him to make the right decision, to take, make sure that his best interests are covered, and to realize that his safety is first and foremost beyond any wins that he could achieve for the program. Well, it sounds like a good way to go about it. Eugene, very good to see you. Thank you. Thank you.